Today I'm going to carve Dio of 29, the second premolar. <laughs> And the mandible but the thing is that the adjacent tooth uh, I it is my last molar <laughs> but I made uh, MOD on this tooth so what can I do I need to check whether I am damaging the adjacent tooth as I make the proximal box so here I have brought a strip of strip of uh, the, 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 how to call that? Sticker. Okay. And I'll cut it and paste on the proximal surface. This uh, empty void space, I'm going to fill it. I'm going to make it up with this uh, sticker. So, Dada, here you go. Let's see whether I damaged this uh, strip of sticker or not. Hope I don't damage this so it'll it'll really sensitively show me tell me whether i am touching the proximal surface of the adjacent tooth so let's do it i hope i will not hit the adjacent tooth this time and especially for this time i'm using very sensitive um sensitive a strip of sticker to ensure that whether I'm touching the touching the adjacent molar or not. Okay. So here I prepped my teeth. I think it has been. Uh, I'm done. I have beveled all the uh, gingival, axial, um, pulpo axial line angle. Um, sadly, unfortunately, I have teared the <laughs> tear the uh, sticker. Uh, as I was uh, um, turning the corn, uh, like smoothing the corner with one six nine bar, it suddenly went to the distal side and it tore the sticker. Uh, aside from that, yeah, there was not that uh, strong contact with the proximal. Uh, let's take it out and evaluate it. Let's take it out. Okay, so this is how the uh, proximal wall was damaged. <laughs> Ta -da, I'm so excited to see. Let's see the let's measure with the explorer first. <laughs> um one millimeter width of the isthmus. Okay, and here the contact has been <coughs> uh, the contact has been released 
uh, it seems a little bit tight here <clears throat> but if I uh, make a relief of uh, 1.5 then the wing should be S curve must have been like stiff like this I don't know whether it is right to do that here it is fine but for this side I think it needs a little bit more reduction and let's extract the tooth alright here uh, I've failed to smooth this this corner okay and um the proximal box form is okay it is beautiful since this is the functional cusp angle was made like this following the uh, functional cusps have like uh, di divergency and making the distal side of the box was a little bit difficult more difficult than Michel of course because of the um, it is away from the direct vi vision but I was able to make it okay so next time if I happen to I my assignment is to find out how much I have to make this uh, distal like proximal box contact release should be whether it is okay it to go this far or not and next time I'll check once again to flatten the side like this just one stroke makes it far beautiful but why didn't I do that I, I thought I did but it was covered by the canine so it was not visible but uh, it is my fault um, the walls and the um, like floor it is very very smooth I have improved my skills to flatten the floors very well thank god very very smooth I like it mm. so aside from the uh, margin projection here the, the irregularity here and also the contact uh, contact removal aside from that yeah it is fine I think if you have any anything else that I need to improve you can uh, tell me that'll really help me let's see the canine uh, proximal surf distant surface whether I have hit canine or not um, only the hand instruments I slightly tossed but I don't think I carved it <laughs> you see there is no bird damage but just a little scratches that I made as I was uh, carving the uh, scrapping off the proximal surfaces with the hand instruments but I did not burn the distal side of the canine so I think that is a forgivable right overlookable so um, this is my preparation but you know the most scary thing is that I prep the tooth thinking that it is tooth number 29 but the fact is that it is tooth number 20 <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking why it has uh, it has a super erupted because though I push it down do you see the uh, enamel uh, CJ cement to enamel junction is like above the gingerbread I'm a man full of mistake but I will do my best no disappointment <laughs> okay 
If I pass, you will have hope because a man, a full of mistake like me, have passed. Let's see. But I feel like I'm getting better day by day. I feel like、um, I have more muscles on my finger. With the more I grab my handpiece and、uh, fight with the、uh, mannequin, because you know, this finger aches more because I have to retract the, retract the cheek of the mannequin. The rubber cheek, and it is so stiff. And the r the the jaw of the、um, jaw of the phantom head does not like get fixed. So I have to do it like pressing this mandible down and、uh, retracting the cheek. So I'm gaining muscles on my hands. So with that, I have better control. So. Next time I will.、Uh, what should I prep? I should not make mistake on the tooth placing. <laughs> okay, see you in next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comment. Let's all pass.